Hey guys, it's Kaylee back with another keyword video. If you are new here, I often do what I like to call a keyword series where I come on and talk about five different keywords that you can use in your eBay and Poshmark titles in order to be more specific in your listings, bring the right kind of buyers over and inevitably end up making more money. So if you're interested in seeing what keywords are in store for today, then just keep watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kaylee. I'm an online reseller. I find used clothing at thrift stores and I flip them online for profit. My channel is about teaching other people to resell and make money online. All the links that I mentioned in the video are down below in the description. You can click on the link tree down below and it will pop up my eBay and Poshmark closet if you're interested in viewing. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. You can also send me a message over on Instagram. If you like this reseller content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I make new videos. Let's jump into today's video. All right, so the first two are very similar and the first one I'm going to go over is a field jacket. Now I'm trying to pick things that are going to be pretty popular this upcoming season so that you can prepare, kind of have those words in your mind and also have that style in your head to look for while you're at the thrift store. So field jackets are military inspired jackets. They're typically in a neutral color. Um, most often I see them in kind of that olive military green. Not always, but I'd say most often that's what people think of when they see a field jacket. Field jackets are very similar to utility jackets and they have multiple pockets. You could kind of consider it like a cargo jacket, the way you think of cargo pants or cargo shorts. A lot of people wear these for their utility and I think, I mean, originally that's what the purpose was for the military. That was the creation of the field jacket. But nowadays it is more for style and I typically see people wearing them in the spring and in the fall, which I consider transitional seasons, transitioning between warm weather and super cold weather. They're really great to throw on. They tend to be a little bit more lightweight if you're buying them for fashion. If you're buying them vintage, the actual military field jackets, they are going to be quite warm. Uh, but in general, I think that they're kind of a lightweight to midweight jacket that people typically wear in the spring and the fall. I do consider olive green to be a somewhat neutral color. Uh, I think you can wear it with a lot of pieces and I think it's become kind of a staple complement color to a lot of things that most people would consider matches with just about anything. Of course, as always, I will be putting up some pictures right beside me here. Um, hopefully you get an idea of what a field jacket is and I think typically it's also important to note that they are a little bit longer where they fall kind of at the hips rather than at the waist. Very, very similar to field jackets and I could almost say the words are interchangeable, but I wanted to mention both because I think the person looking for a field jacket is going to use that word um, to have that style with the military look and the green color or a neutral color. Whereas the second word, which is barn coat, I feel like people looking for a barn coat are looking more for a country, outdoorsy, workwear kind of look. Like I said, the two could almost be interchangeable. Um, I think it kind of depends on the aesthetic that you're leaning towards with the type of jacket. Bar coats can also be that olive green color. But I often find them in a dark charcoal gray or in a tan khaki color. One big key indicator that I notice on the jacket that would lead me to use the word barn coat rather than field coat would be if the coat or jacket has a different style collar, meaning they use a different material on the collar. Typically, barn coats are classified by that aesthetic, and they usually have a leather, a faux leather, or a corduroy colored collar. That was a tough one to say. I struggle with those two words anyways, so that was really tough for me to say. But when I'm looking for something, if I see that contrasting 
collar with a different type of material, again, typically leather or corduroy, then I know that I'm going to use the word barn coat versus a field jacket. Barn coats, in my opinion, are typically made heavier. They usually have some kind of lining in them, whether that be uh, cotton, flannel, or fleece. Sometimes they even have a Sherpa lining, and most people that are looking for barn coats are usually people that want it to work outdoor, in a barn, uh, outside, on their house. And for that reason, I know that field jacket and car coat are very similar, but just some key little changes that might make you use one word versus the other to bring the right kind of buyer. Both of these styles, field jacket and barn coat, every year I have really good luck with and I don't think this year will be any different since they are more of a purposeful jacket. Uh, I feel like they never really go out of style and every year I look for these styles. So as we move into fall and into winter and the really cold months, I would definitely keep an eye on those too. Next is going to be an eyelash sweater. And this is a term used for sweaters that are very similar to Chanel sweaters, which we talked about in a previous keywords video, except instead of only having that fluffy knit, they also have a kind of almost Angora-like hairs coming out of it that look like fluttery eyelashes and that is where the term eyelash sweater came from. So I'll insert some pictures here but if you've ever seen the sweater um, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about because it has a very specific kind of material with little fluttery hairs coming out of it and this sweater can be popular in certain brands but if you have this kind of sweater I wanted to bring up this keyword because it's really important to use it not only if you've bought the item and you're listing it but when you're doing comps for this item so if i came across a sweater like this in the brand j crew i wouldn't just look up j crew sweater and try to do my comps to determine whether to buy it i would look up j crew eyelash sweater and really narrow down my search result because this is such a unique style I do think it takes the right kind of buyer and that kind of buyer is going to know that keyword. The last two are colors and they're actually two different shades of blue. Now I used to just use the most simple of terms of colors in my title, you know, red, blue, green, yellow, black, gray. But as I have developed a better sense of colors and how to describe them better in my listings, I do find that there are buyers looking for really specific colors and just putting brown or gray or green is not going to do it when there is a buyer looking for that specific kind of color. And if you can put this specific color into your title, you are going to find the right buyer and probably sell the item a lot more quickly. So I have been researching more into colors, and I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but especially recently, I have been having buyers leave me messages asking for the true color of an item because they know that photographing the item might come off a little differently on screen. Just yesterday or the day before, I think, I had somebody ask me about a sweater and they wanted clarification on whether it was true red, salmon, burgundy. Those are, they gave me a few examples of red and wanted me to choose from them so that they could better understand the exact color of the item. So that alone tells me that buyers truly are some of them looking for specific colors. So with that in mind, I did include two shades of blue today and I'll continue trying to sprinkle in here and there some specific colors. The first one is cobalt blue. Um, this is, I feel like, pretty common knowledge, but just in case you didn't know, I wanted to include this because it is a shade of blue that I come across often, and I do know that people search for this specific shade of blue. It is a darker blue, but it is very vibrant and very bright, and I'll make sure to put pictures here. A reason somebody might be searching for a specific color is if 
they have to wear a certain kind of uniform or if they have a specific outfit in mind that they might need a specific shape. Maybe they're copying an outfit off of Pinterest and they want to get as close to it as possible. They may be searching these terms and then like I said uniforms or if you're trying to match your friends during a get together or for a wedding you may be asked to wear a certain shade of a color. Like I said, cobalt blue is a very popular one, so good to have in your back pocket to use in your titles. The last keyword of today's video is midnight blue. Have you ever been trying to list something and it's a darker shade and you're looking at it and you can't really tell if it's black or if it's a navy blue? That's midnight blue. So Midnight Blue is a shade of blue, very, very, very dark, almost black. And sometimes that can be really hard to tell if you don't have the right lighting. And usually if I'm just sitting in regular lighting, I can't really tell until I go to take pictures of the item. And then I realize, oh crap, it's blue, not black. I've got to go and change my listing. This term to put in your title can really help to find the right buyer, but it can also prevent returns. If you are listing something and you don't include the color of the item and somebody is looking at your photographs and thinking that it's a black item when it's actually a midnight blue item, um, you know, you may get a return for that because they were expecting something that was black versus blue. So I do think it's really important to include that on your title when the color is not very obvious and I think that midnight blue really does the trick when it comes to dark 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 almost black blue colors. Alright guys so that is it for today's keywords video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Drop a comment down below let me know what your favorite keyword was today. Did you guys learn anything new or did you already know all of those keywords? Hope you guys are making awesome sales and preparing for Q4. If you have any video ideas make sure to drop them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.